dun, 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 dun. Hey guys and welcome to Escape the Echo Chamber with Niels, Cat and Ben and today we're in Dolby and check it out. We finally found some road trains, eh? Uh, we had a few go past on the way in and uh, yeah, the road was sketchy and the road trains make it even sketchier. Yeah, let's uh, go and have a quick look around Dolby. The Main Street Dalby is pretty cool, eh? We saw one building dating to 1930 somewhere. Oh, this one's... We saw an 1850 oh, 18, 1850 was it? Yeah, yeah sorry. And uh, there's like Commonwealth Chambers. Check out the little dome on the top of that one, eh? Oh, what's going on there? But yeah, it's uh, it's really, really cool down here. So here's the old town council building. I think, uh, yeah, it says 1863 there. And then across the road is like the old post office. Then you've got the old, um, I think this is like the the lock-up building or the jail, eh? I'm it's, not, it's not sure. It's a corrections on yeah. the front of it, so we think it might be a mini jail. And then uh, the courthouse and the police station's just next door there. So yeah, uh, that's where you go if you do bad things in Dolby. <laughs> right, so this is uh, Mile Creek, and uh, over here, right, there's a little turtle. And uh, there's two big ones over here too, eh? Where are you? There, that big shadow under the water there. Is he gonna stick his head up? Look at the ground, you can see like how dry it was before it rained, hey? It's all like... There's another one. Yeah, the creek is like really swollen, eh? It's uh... The water's been up here somewhere in the last week or so, I reckon. Uh, I guess they got a lot of rain when the Sunshine Coast got a lot of rain. There's all the turtles. Oh, <laughs> There's two little lizards here, eh? This one here. And this one here. And then if you come back over this way a bit more, there's the big mama over here. Let's see if we can get a better look. Oh, oh, she's looking at me. You see these things in Brisbane, eh? But uh, they're, they're, they're everywhere. I can see a bunch of them. They're running off over here too. They're like cane toads. Just all run off through the grass when you move. Hey, hey, you're really nice looking, aren't you? Uh, so this sign says here that uh, koalas are a relatively rare sight in Dalby these days, but they have been spotted along this part of Mile Creek. Sleeping high in the eucalyptus, you might be lucky to see one during a walk or picnic along the bank. And like, this is like right in town. Like, there's Big W and the main street's like one, one up. So like, yeah, wow, that's really cool if they get koalas down here. Yeah, talking to old mate over there on his wheelie walker and like yeah definitely koalas in here sometimes eh like right in the center of town yeah mad eh hope uh i doubt we'll see one but you never know and here is dolby train station i think it's still a working train station as well eh like yeah, i think you can go to dolby yeah i don't know where the, the trains come and go from but uh it definitely looks like it's still working all the signal lights yeah. are on and stuff so it's been a little bit of Dalby, and uh, now we're going further west. Right, so we're like on our way to Chinchilla. We stopped at uh, this Boongara Memorial Hall. And uh, yeah, the story you hear is they released these uh, Catoblastus moths here to control the, the prickly pear. And uh, yeah, that's, that's how they solved the prickly pear problem. And uh, yeah, I didn't even know prickly pear was a problem, but uh, yeah, back in the day, that there was more of Australia covered in prickly pear than there is land in the UK. And uh, yeah, this moth is, is what they finally used to control it. When we were at the museum the other day too, they had all these pokers where they used to poke arsenic into them as well. So like, oh, yeah. yeah. All little yeah. And, um, yeah, so at Chinchilla anyway is where they solved all the prickly pear problem apparently. Yeah, wow, it's crazy. So they did a mess around with prickly pear, eh? And they're saying that within four years, these moths had, like, destroyed them and the land was usable again. So, yeah, crazy. And then the sign says it's, like, 
the most effective um, example of like bio control, like using Ever. insects to yeah to kill plants and stuff. Uh, so we've just like driven through Chinchilla. We're gonna go down to the weir. Apparently there's like a ten dollar camp with power, so that's gonna be awesome. But yeah, we just drove past this, and I'm like, what's going on here? So like, there's this fence right, and it goes like we could see it like on the other side of the town as we come in and everything and. Um, we did see stuff about a dingo fence before, but we didn't actually see the fence. So, yeah, but this fence here is the Darling Downs to Morton rabbit fence. So I'm guessing that it's going to go from Darling Downs all the way to Morton Bay, which is like where we live. And yeah, oh, here we go. Man, they don't like slowing down for the cattle grids. So, yeah. There's the rabbit proof fence. Must have a pretty good wild dog problem because as we drove into the town, there's signs up everywhere Continue saying Continue on um, race course road for one and a half kilometers. Baiting for wild dogs, thanks uh, Google Maps. So yeah, heaps of wild dogs around too apparently. Right, so we made it, but uh, not without some casualties. This is uh, the weir at Chinchilla. And uh, yeah, so we picked the spot. So I'm setting up still, but yeah, this is me spot. I pulled in the wrong way and I'm like, nah, I want to face the other way. So I like reversed out and did like a three point turn out here. And uh, see this pole right here? He uh, he ended up like inside there. Um, and then I had to like reverse him off. And now we've done that. So, and this bit of wall, I only just fixed, I had to replace this whole back bit of wall here. And uh, now I'm probably gonna have to do it again or at least the, the lower half. I might just like check a plate from about here down. And uh, yeah, no fun. At least we didn't rip the light of the wiring off. And uh, she's still functional. I'm a possible bird. I never seen a possible birds until we got to Monto away. Eh? They're just not out on the coast, but uh, you see them everywhere out west. They're such cool birds, eh? Right. Why can't we have them out on the coast? Alright, so here we are at uh, Chinchilla Dam. Oh, it's a weir actually, but uh, I guess it's kind of a dam as well. It does the same thing. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice here. We're camped just uh, back up there a little bit further, where all the snotty old people are laughing at us because we reversed into the post. But uh, yeah, so it's been a great day. So and this is all like part of the Codamine River and it goes down here and then under the bridge so we'll go have a look over there. So you're not allowed to fish here because it's the there's the weir and there's no fish lift on it that I can see. So the the fish must be able to like swim up it, which would be really cool to see. And uh yeah, so you can't fish here because uh this is where the fish are banking up and like having a rest before they try and get up there and stuff. So yeah, no fishing here. Unless you're that bloke. So this is under the bridge. You can tell there's been a lot of water come through here recently. It's just like uh, really washed the banks clean and like smashed everything down. But yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. The river's not much to look at. It's just like a big muddy river. And uh, yeah, it's not like the crystal clear creeks that we've been used to. <laughs> So yeah, that's been Dolby and a little bit of um, chinchilla. chinchilla and some of in between. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll uh, go out further west again. And uh, oh yeah, this is like the furthest west I've ever been as well. So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, see what we see tomorrow. Dun, 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 dun.